Hello, everybody. I am Hyper G. I am with Lucky Sixes. Hello there, sir. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, we seem to have said that quite a few times, don't we, really? Yeah, I know. Um, this, this but it is technically... 2024. Yes. <laughs> it's not our first video by any means, but it's our first no, real... No, it was a rather long one we did a little while ago, wasn't it? Yes, <laughs> very much so. Um, but this is our, our first return to the everyday. After, normal, after normal, normal stuff. Yeah. It's so it's so exactly. nice and comforting, and we're in the new year. We've got our new projects, yeah. and uh, absolutely we, we do. Yeah, but this we're not going to talk about our new projects and our new year and no, last year or any of that stuff. None of that is important right now, um, because and many of you will have seen the, the the live stream of the masters that we did, you know, before. Uh, you know, thank you to everyone who joined us. Mm. Like we say, we're not going to talk about all that rubbish really much because <laughs> we're here to talk about something else. And that is, before we went over to Nottingham um, to do the Masters, we decided to have a little bit of a battle against each other, didn't we? Oh. Yeah. I mean, I that was partially like... because, you know, we couldn't get into our apartment until the afternoon. And partially yeah, was... because we haven't got old in ages, have we? <laughs> well, this is it. I feel like... For years, we've just battled other people, and I so know, we, yeah. wanted, we wanted to start this year with a yeah. good old-fashioned shindig, and uh, yes. a, yeah, kind of uh, it was quite nice. I, so, I mean, in terms of <laughs> quite nice, you know, yeah, it was. Mature, but, you know, no, it nice. wasn't. It was it was nice. <laughs> we we went with our our sort of standard yeah. uh, armies as well. You you particularly it's been a long-standing rivalry, hasn't it? Mm, These days. It has. Elves. I don't. I don't elves. feel like the elves and Saurians really that badly. Really, no. Overall. They're just they're just bickering. Yeah. These guys, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, elves and Saurians are even combined together to defeat the uh, the Dan Ryan Alliance in that battle. And so, and that uh, would that would never happen with these two. So never uh, happen with these two. No. <laughs> we put we put them together and we thought let's 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 have it out. Um, yeah. In terms of uh, my Ooh, list, I'm seeing some of this new stuff. I know. This is, I know. This is fancy. It's new year. Get this used to it, fancy. folks. This is all. This is coming oh, baby. at you on the reg. Um, I like it. I like so, it. So, uh, as you said, we uh, are going to the Masters to, in the next few days. Imminently. Uh, imminently. Well, uh, in the next few hours after yeah. when this battle is happening. Yeah. And so I thought, you know what? I want to try. I want to try. My old master's list. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fairly similar, isn't it? It's not exactly the same. Right? No, it's not. Yeah, because it's, uh, I mean, up updates and things like that, and things have yeah. changed ever so slightly. Inconveniences. Um, yeah. uh, and to be fair, uh, the initiate, I used to have two initiates instead of a phoenix. So the little sure. things, little yeah, things yeah. happen. Uh, but yeah, I've still I, got, I've got five flying models. So it's, it's it is Flying Circus, right? So It's Flying Circus um, with some Lancers, a big unit of Swordmasters, and the Grey Watchers, which I'm I'm really loving at the minute. 135 points, they are a bargain through and through for what yeah. they do. Yeah. It's a free spell, a turn, really. So I've got the big Ancient Dragon General, who is cool. He's a really cool model. I took him mm. to the Masters, and I, I love him a lot. And uh, so I try and get him in. Cleansing Light, Great Open, Queen's Cavalier, so extra attack and some fear. Not that that matters on the Ancient Dragon. Uh, the High Prince Griffin, <laughs> as standard. Uh, a pretty standard... Um... He's been in your list for a long time now, really, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Never he's really been... let you down. No, he's sometimes underwhelming, but now. never... <laughs> yeah, yeah, well... But we yeah. didn't record... <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah. thankfully. Um but you know he's yeah, he's he's a, he's a solid piece uh, in the thing. Uh the mage on the yeah. gro giant eagle with essence of mithril. Essence of mithril because I just I'm not I don't think it's I'm good enough. Now. I don't think I'm good enough oh. to maneuver him without without two up armor. <laughs> well I so. think it protects him from mis miscasts as well, to be honest. Uh, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Um yeah. you know, so I think there's that and, as well. And uh magical heirloom just to continue the budget. Uh, phase 30 sea guard with navigate's banner because it's cool uh yeah. two lancers 24 sword masters with banner of discipline because you will have noticed that i don't have any bsb <laughs> no back to the old days yeah so yeah why who needs it 
Who needs it, folks? <laughs> um, Frost Phoenix, Initiate the Fiery Heart, who obviously has two spells, and the Great Watchers. So, yeah. Uh, it's cool. It's a cool list. I liked it. Yeah, it's all right. Yourselves. <laughs> um, <laughs> but on to Orcs and Goblins. This is a cool list. This is a cool list. <laughs> yeah, so I've alluded to it a few times. 2024 is the year of the Orc for me. This is nothing to do with the outcome of Masters, <laughs> which I won't directly give a spoiler mm-hmm. to. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I decided that 2024 was the year of the Orc anyway, just for the record. And those you who said, are... It first. Very loyal to the channel, uh, you know, will know that I have been an Orcs and Goblins player for a long time, you know, forays into other armies, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's no surprise that I'm going to bring out my Orc models. Um, so that's my disclaimer out of the way. <laughs> I'm not just hunting a everyone very OP army. Well. Everyone Absolutely. believes Everyone does. You. Absolutely yeah. they do, yeah. I mean, not that I'm going to buck the trend anyway, because I won't be winning things with this. <laughs> but, well, you know, never know. It might give me uh, no. Okay, so cool. Um I have gone with uh, Shamanism Wizard Master, which I tend to do quite a lot with Orcs, um, actually. Um, yeah. I do like Shamanism. I think it just fits really nicely in what they do. Uh, and I've stuck the Magical Heirloom on him and Rod of Battle, because I just love Rod of Battle. I don't think I'll ever not take it in a list, to be fair. Especially with Especially my with armies, the orcs. all struggle yeah. to hit. Like yeah. Ogres, Thorians, and Orcs, all of them yeah. will probably not hit on a four better than a four, unless you give them some help. Um, so yeah, I think it's really useful for them. Uh, my Orc Warlord um, is on a Grunter. Plate armor, paired weapons, such a greatness. Now, I'm not sporting the Omen of the Apocalypse like everyone else oh, seems to be doing. Uh, so I'm saving a few points. And to be, I, I like such a greatness. I like being strength mm. always. It you is. know, not having to worry about With armor. paired weapons, that's armor. very good. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's really cool. You know, you can get up to six attacks with that. So yeah. I, I like it. Um, and the Potion of Swiftness is another thing that I always tend to stick on my fighty character. So I just mm-hmm. like the idea of going first. Because, so, again, a lot of your armies are initiative. <laughs> Two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're really slow. Um, Goblin Witch, um, Beastie Chariot, that's uh, the Grotto Boys, back together um, in the form of a Goblin Witch, Goblin Demagogue on a Beastie Chariot as well, along with a single Goblin Chariot. So, so you know, mm-hmm. the models that Ryan built for me, always good to see them. Um, and using Witchcraft, because I just love Deceptive Glamour. It's just a good spell. <laughs> um, obviously against highborn elves it's probably not as useful I don't think I even take it in this one um, but um, you know I think agility is one of the most important stats in the game and that's why I like witchcraft what's the essence of a free mind isn't that you get to change you do laws. you can change between your, your paths before the battle starts mm-hmm. yeah so I, I take that in case I want um, pyromancy or thaumaturgy okay. um, as well as witchcraft you can't take five and six um, using that item but adepts can't do that anyway um, Don't you need so, to say which? Isn't it two? It's not all of the, the things, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I, I I think when you choose it on new recruit, you can choose witchcraft or pirate. Or yeah, I think you have to choose two. You're right. So it's two. Um, yeah. So in my head, it was witchcraft or pyromancy. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. I picked on new recruit because it's either cloak of cinders and flaming swords or deceptive glamour and wheel turns. Effectively, nice. is what I'm usually yeah. choosing. Um, but. Yeah, this was witchcraft. It was always going to be witchcraft um, mm-hmm. for wheel turns, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very good, very good spell uh, when you're fighting some elite warriors, <laughs> uh, which I, really pains me to call Hybon Elves that. But, you know, they are. They're pretty good in a fight. Yeah. 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 Um, cool. And I've got a uh, Dominic Demi- 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 Dog, whatever that mm. is, uh, on, on a pet monster, uh, which allows him to join the unit of trolls, which is coming up later. And he's got Crown of yeah. Autocracy, which means. He's given out a bit of a discipline bubble, which I quite like. Um, you know, so he's another discipline eight bubble, only three inches, but it's it's a nice little extra it's tool. Enough for the have. trolls, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. And he, he actually packs out a bit of a punch, which the trolls don't really do that much of. They're, they're kind of a bit of a tank, but this yeah. guy can actually fight, um, and sometimes adds a little bit of bit of something to their unit. Uh, I've got two big units of infantry, 35 Feral Orcs and 35 Veteran Orcs. So the Veteran Orcs with Spears, which is a bit of a staple of what I play. And I've also played the big block of Feral Orcs, but of course they come with uh, crude weapons now, so that's kind of mm. a bit of every weapon for one turn. Um, yeah. So yeah, I like a unit of Spears. Again, if you get charged, it, it brings your agility up by two. Um, so And then with Deceptive Glamour, you can really surprise people being slow army with that combination. I've always liked that. Uh, although Orcs play a bit differently now, so as we'll. If we find out as we play them. 
Uh, yeah, and I've got Balor as Relentless on the Feral Lots because a lot of people tend to just run them forward and get them killed and then open up the gaps, that sort of thing, mm. which I'll probably be doing something similar. Uh, 10 Feral Lot Marauders, um, bringing up Core, which is really cool. Um, you know, I've got the models and also yes. 15 Veteran Orc Marauders, so yes. two units of Orc Marauders. Um, and the second unit being the Head Basher Rule, meaning they're the BSB. And they're racking the banner of speed for a lot of movement, a lot of movement, especially with the war cry. Yeah. Uh, and, and the big boss pole to extend the range of it as well. Uh, there's my eight trolls, bridge trolls. I, I used to be stone trolls, like through and through, but I can't see past bridge trolls anymore. So like, good. The, the Distracting. It's just so good. Like, you don't yeah. really, like, armor and magic resistance, etc. they're just not as good as distracting. I'm yeah, just not sure that stone trolls really cut it anymore. Um, well, you know, yeah. I got one Iron Orc chariot. Don't know what. Don't know why I'm new recruit. It says chariots when it is a single chariot, but they are it very does. good. Um, and I, I like that as a unit. I did uh, the first iteration of this list. I had Nasher Dashers, but I changed them for one single chariot, and I think it fits hmm. a bit better. Um, but we'll see. Uh, Ten Gog Tuck Neophytes, which I know you hate. <laughs> so why wouldn't I put them in my list? <laughs> yeah, I just think any unit that can take an ambushing scoring unit, oh. any army that can take that. I, it's I don't hate them because they're bad. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and then two wrecking teams to round it off. Yes. So this isn't a orc list. Like it's over the goblin allowance, and it certainly isn't a goblin list because it's way over the orc allowance. This is a combined orcs and goblin list. Yeah. Good old fashioned. And trolls. Trolls are kind and of trolls. in between. Yeah, yeah, and a few big gnashes and that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's cool. We'll see how yeah. we go. Oh, we uh, we rolled it out, and we, we played did. Frontline Crash and Breakthrough. Yeah. Yeah, which it was is nice. a bit of a change. Yeah. Mm. And Breakthrough. And, uh, Got Tuck Near Fights. Yay. Yeah, I know. That was... <laughs> yeah, that's this weekend. And um, this is deployment. Yeah, I'm, uh, we're in my uh, my garage for this one, weren't we? Yeah, we before were. we went to the Masters. Nice we extra little bit of uh, annotations. I like it. Even telling us what number bat rep that is, just in case it's forgotten. I like that. It's PTG. It's 36. Yeah. It's yeah. And, it's um, 2024. I can see your dice baby. laid out nicely and your piles of fire. dice? As well. Yeah. Very neat. The cards, not so much. There's a bit. No. Uh, a bit of a... <laughs> those cards, I'll take those spells. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, but yeah, no, in terms of. Uh, you go first. Oh, okay, okay. Um, ten Feralot Marauders in the top left corner um, are ready to charge down the flank. Um, I think you deployed um, for first turn, as you always do, actually. Um, so oh, yes, first. I, I got I the knew where you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, on the hill, I've got the um, the Grotto Boys chariots. Um, so that's with the the Wizard of Depth witchcraft, the uh, Dob Goblin demigog, and the single chariot all together as three. Uh, then I got my Marauders. Uh, uh, yeah, veteran orc marauders with the Grunter character in. I haven't named any of these for a while, actually. I need to get some mm. names on them for the new year, I think, because uh, it's definitely not the old the old Shagger Heartless because that was that was a different guy in a different setup. It, so, was, yeah. it was different. Yeah, yeah. Mm, need need some new names. Feel free to suggest some, folks, uh, and I will see yeah. if I like them. Yeah. Uh, then I've got the trolls with the um, the guy in the middle of the front rank is the goblin demigog on his pet monster. I've gone with the Feral Orcs uh, alongside them, and behind them is the Veteran Orcs with the Shaman in. They're kind of like a unit in reserve for objective claiming. And also, with the hill and that impassable, it was a little bit of a bottleneck um, for my units. I didn't want to stretch mm. too far out wide. Uh, and then I've got a Wrecking Team just in the gap. The Iron Orc is on the other side of the impassable, the Iron Orc Chariot, uh, ready to guard that flank, and he's got a Wrecking Team to help him out. And then on the right side of the battlefield, not yet deployed, is the Neophytes, ready to spring on the back of Lucky Six's deployment zone for breakthrough. Yeah, breakthrough. very much so. Very much so. And they just stared at me. <laughs> well, know. maybe. Maybe more. Um, but yeah, as you say, I I, uh, I dropped four first. Uh, so uh, let's see what we could do. I put the, the two Lancers right out wide because that's what they're in the list for. Um, some, some objective play. Uh, on my left, left to right, I've got the Phoenix, uh, then the Sea Guard, then uh, the Ancient Dragon with the Mage behind the hill, uh, and the uh, Grey Watchers following up. Mm -hmm. 
Then the sword master is ready to go on the hill. Uh, the initiate of the fiery heart, uh, going uh, ready also to go that sort of way. Then the griffin, and as I say, the lancers. So um, I, I'm pretty maneuverable, apart from my two big blocks. Actually, like the only yeah. uh, the only thing really that I need to be careful of in deployment. Um, and if I'm going first, I kind of had the option of of what to do. I, I need to make sure that I've got my general ancient dragon sort of close to both of them as long as possible but otherwise um i'm pretty maneuver i can my deployment's not overly that important so drop in for first if you do something drastic that catches me out normally i can remove re maneuver redeploy remaneuver yeah i mean one of those things it's a good example really because one of those things was i i put my feral orc um Orders on my right flank, your left as we're looking at it, right directly opposite the lancers. And I figured my ten marauders could take mm. out your five lancers. But even if you charged, I figured I could probably win that fight. Yeah. Um, and as we'll see in the pictures momentarily, you change that dynamic almost immediately, which is in pretty cool. High elf turn one because there is <laughs> yeah. internal movement because there is no charges. Uh, yeah, no. I, I mean, with that, I saw that they definitely could not handle that. Um, and Frosty went over to give a little help. Yes, yeah, and that changes the, the, the mathematics of that flank entirely. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think it was a good move. Yeah, um, otherwise, move up pretty tentative. Um, initiate only just going on the uh, hill. Otherwise, everything moving forward. Swordmaster's the most aggressive because I'm pretty happy with them going into anything. Just leaving absolute max charges or movements for your... What are they called the wrecking teams of, mm -hmm. yeah, of the teams of wrecking, which <laughs> yep. yeah, they are ready to wreck. wreck face, Absolutely. Uh, so uh, yeah, otherwise just moving forward, I've got a bit of range. Uh, my magic is pretty pretty good as well. Uh, into that, I I tried as much as I could. I, I uh, you stopped the, the pyro flow, I believe, I did. and yes. then let ice and fire, and I only got two wounds off on it. But yeah. uh, I do, and then with shoot sea guard shooting, I do kill. I was going to say I was trying to work. ferals. Yeah, why did you shoot feral? Oh, because they weren't in range, were they? You had a choice. I weren't in range of anything, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I ain't shooting trolls. So. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's always a, that... you know ice and fire and um, the pyro flow. Like it was literally a choice between the two, and sometimes you get lucky and don't and don't lose your wrecking team. Sometimes you lose your wrecking team. Simple as that. Yeah, and and in your turn, you were. Uh, you responded. Yeah, I just sent my wrecking teams flying forwards. You know, what else are they going to do, really? Um, they may as well try and cause some damage before you shoot them off. Um, and um, effectively, it was a, a relatively tentative move forward for me, actually, because um, mm. the, the flank had changed now that the Frosty was over there. Um, so I just set my chariots onto the hill a bit more facing that way. I didn't really feel I needed to rush the fight between the Feral Lock Marauders and the Frosty and the Lancers. Because if I just keep you out of my zone, mm. like I've still got the near fights to win 1-0, is what I was yeah. thinking. <laughs> so yeah, at this point, so. I felt like I was winning objective, even though it was drawing, if that makes sense. Um, and otherwise, um, the Feral Orcs in the middle just moved up quite slowly. Um, I actually wanted to get my Veteran Orc in the line before I triggered my feral orcs into the full charge. Yeah. Um, and also see what happened with the wrecking team before I really committed to mm -hmm. coming up to fight you. The wrecking teams so. do just like delay the battle, don't they? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And that's that's fine. You know, I I have toyed around with having bows on the feral orcs and things like that just to do a bit of light shooting, but I, I took them away. Um, in, I think in favour of the um, relentless banner on the feral orcs. So. Sure, we'll see how that exchange works out. But I've literally got no shooting at all, and that's absolutely yeah. fine. Um, yeah, so I did get off break the spirit in my magic phase, uh, which you let off without even consideration. I guess that was because you decided that you were happy with that their position and you weren't going to charge me, knowing you'd have to charge through a wrecking team. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it was kind of like, um, why did why did I choose to get that spell off? I'm just trying I think to think you did it first, perhaps to get some dice out, but Dup. it ended up by letting yeah. off, and uh, mm. I don't think you got much else going. No, I don't through. think you did. No. 
uh, yeah. because it's my turn. Oh, Straight I know away. I know why I did that, to be honest. I didn't take any ranged magic. That's why. Yeah. I didn't actually yeah, yeah. have any ranged magic to choose from. I didn't even choose Swarm of Insects, so, you know. Yeah. And, it, so. and it, it paid so little mind that I just gave you the card back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well done for casting it. it. Here you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll keep it for the picture, but then after exactly. that. Um, and in my turn, I'd say, I'd, I'd, moving forward, pretty aggressively on the right side, I was pretty happy that my griffin could take the Iron Orc Chariot. Um, the, the impact hits are annoying, uh, and I would yeah. have, you know, it could spike a bit crazy, but otherwise, it wasn't too, it wasn't too unhappy with anything. And I thought it was a practice game. Uh, let's. Let's see if he can take it. Uh, move my silver helms up so that I could. Um, I, I couldn't be charged, but I was as close to that objective as possible, the, the deployment zone. Uh, the initiate comes around so that he can flame a breath weapon the wrecking team should I need it. Uh, but my both my shooter, uh, my magic users are facing towards him. Yeah, I mean, the lances Basically. were very much like, you got this right, boys. You got yeah. this. Yeah, you're going to take that wrecking team out. Yeah? Well, I was thinking, I'm going to have at least one magic missile, because I even if I you throw buck four at both or whatever, I should yeah. get one. You off. were unlucky last time. So don't do two yeah, two and I was like, well, time. and I've got the flame breath just in case. So that was like my backup yeah. for that. The, the other one, I just thought, you know what? If Seaguard and Grey Watchers can't handle one wound on a wrecking team, and I don't deserve to live. <laughs> To live, yeah, at all, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's definitely, yeah, could wipe me out. Um, Frosty just goes over just to make sure they know that they've got a bit of help. <laughs> yeah, but we'll see. We will see, won't we? So yeah. Uh, and that's about it, really. Uh, I I do manage to get ice and fire off. Uh, and, and this time it did I, the job, didn't it? Yeah. And I, 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 I can't remember. I think you stopped Pyroflow, and then I had like yep. five dice left. And I three dice Ice and Fire and two dice Perception of Strength. Yeah, I think, was this the one where I, I like worked out in my head that it was better to stop Ice and Fire and then promptly forgot and decided to stop Pyroflow? I don't know, because Pyroflow has the happened, attribute, doesn't it? Yeah. But so I think I Pyroflow, have... I would have... I can't remember. I don't, I don't think. Know. I don't think matter. this one of yeah. them was going to kill it. So it's yeah, all good. Um, and thankfully for me, it killed it in one um, yeah. as well. You I did. think for both of the ice and fires, I rolled five hits. You did. You did. Which and yeah, out yeah. of that, I rolled two last time and three this time. So I was like, it bang, it worked out. Yeah, exactly. It worked out yeah. perfectly. You know, I, I don't um, think I rumbled about this one going down. It yeah. would have been juicy going into the flank of those lances. Oh, there. yeah, absolutely. You would have flame, flame. I would have, it. I would have, regardless if I hadn't killed him or whatever. Yeah. Um, I, I even put perception of strength. I even put it on the strength as well, rather than, mm. um, well, I had to rather than reducing you. I think I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm sure you were within twenty four. Yeah. Actually, I think I was only I just. Mean, I think, do you mean you were wounding me on twos, even though I'm res five? No. Yeah, because I would have been strength seven. Uh, mm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah, that would have been nice. Um, my shooting does, in fact, kill the last wound. In fact, my Grey Watchers did it, which yes. left my Sea Guard to go, and they went to town killing six of your ferals. Well, they did. Yeah, I don't know why they pulled it out this time, but not last time. Yeah. Um, but yeah well, they, they didn't have to more. move this time, to be fair to them. That's, so that's exactly that. it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. But yeah, um, which leads us on to thanks very much, it little did. tab. Yeah, thank you. No, I was forgetting what turn it was, so that was really useful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I popped the Relentless Banner, and the Feral Orcs mm. made their long movement forward. They they waited patiently till turn two before they, they galloped forward. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they're going for it. And they had no concerns whatsoever about the flank they were giving to the Swordmasters, or the fact there was an Ancient Dragon, everything in your army is basically in front of them. But that they're just there to fight. They just want to fight. You know, they just and, want to fight. Yeah, they're going for it. I mean, obviously, I've done that with the idea in mind that I'm going to set up some counter charges um, or tempt you elsewhere with other things. Um, mm. and I, I don't really know how you're going to react, like in terms of what charges you're going to take, you know, all this lot. And I think 
think you could charge the Sea Guard into my veteran orc marauders if you wanted to. You'd yeah. get past my feral orcs, but I was okay with that. <laughs> you know, so I was like, kind of hoping you would do that actually. Um, yeah. And also, also, I moved forward. The, the chariots came forward to t- tempt the Phoenix um, to abandon that flank. Um, it was a long charge for the Phoenix, but I, I wanted to um, give give the Phoenix a reason to leave the boars against the um, mm. the lancers as well. And then on with the Griffin situation, I managed to spot a rare Lucky Sixes error. Very rare error, and I just yeah. sidestepped the Griffin. <laughs> Which yeah, I think I mean, got... you know, yeah. I was like so gung ho and ready to like take the charge. I didn't really measure yeah. it properly, and no, you, yeah, you yeah. Were quite easily able to get out. <laughs> it was it was it was about half an inch to spare. To be honest, it wasn't even a come and look yeah. at this. Do you think I can do it? Moment. It was like yeah, like seven inches. I can I can literally move there, and I did. Yeah. It was like oh yeah, okay. Um, obviously, you know. I was saying to myself, the Lancers can charge me and then I'll kill you. That'd be great. Um, um, but it, yeah. I couldn't really get out the Griffin's line of sight and stop the Lancers. But at well, this stage, I was just keeping my own Orc Chariot alive, which mm. was a bonus. So I was happy with that. And the Veteran Orcs making their slow way around the Trolls. I, I, I think maybe I misplayed them like already in this one because their job I've got in my head is to claim the objective behind the main line. But with Breakthrough, there isn't an objective to claim behind the main line. Behind, lines. yeah, yeah. So I think I misdeployed them, really. I could have just used them on a flank, for example, sure. or done something yeah. different. Um, so I, I kind of got stuck in my ways with them a little bit. But, you know, I'm redeploying them as, as we speak. We'll see how it pans out. Fair enough. Oh, and the neophytes are on behind. And they, I think, did they throw a few uh, throwing weapons They in? did, but we'll see that later. Uh, okay, fair enough. Jumping the this. phases. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> uh, and this is this side. Yeah. Um, then you go into... Then I kill four. Yeah. So, I mean, Seaguard can kill six Verilorks, but the Neophytes can kill four Elves. And that's probably I more mean, points worth of Elves. To be fair, <laughs> Elves... You, everyone could kill Elves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even, even Goblins, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, that's just good chipping away. Uh, I got Awaken the Beast on the resilience of the the Veteran Orc Marauders. Um, this was like because, as well as the Sea Guard being able to charge them, there's also an Ancient Dragon that could charge them. And I didn't really fancy being stuck with them the whole time. Um, yeah. and I, I figured this was just a way of just, you know, dissuading you from charging them with absolutely everything. Yeah. I wanted you to take a bit of the bait with the with the swordmasters, etc. And uh, yeah, uh, you, and you let that one through, you know, because I, you I had did. other ideas. Yes, I, 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 yeah, I, I went for it. I thought, you yeah. know what? Again, uh, we're doing it. now. I, I will say this: I put too much emphasis on trolls being just a tank. <laughs> <laughs> I think in my head. Yes. In my head. Yes. Um, but anyway, I thought, you know what? I've got cleansing flyer. I've got a breath weapon. Uh, I've even got it's very much glo- tailored against my trolls, right? Right. Yeah, right? I, I've even I've even got glory of gold uh, to yeah. potentially latch on if I need it. So mm. yes, get that ancient in, baby. Uh, so right, yeah. uh, it wasn't it wasn't overly far. Uh, I can't remember whether I'm on the hill or not either. Um, but the swordmasters and uh, sea guard uh, go in as well. Um, mm. To hope, I'm hoping, say, bring it on! Yeah, I'm hoping. Bring just it go, on, baby. I, I mean, arguably, I could have just gone in with the sword masters and been probably just as good. I'm not sure. Oh, I think so. Uh, I think so. But I, I wanted to go in with both. Um, the Phoenix has a bit of a nice uh, time. Uh, this was not part of the plan. Goblins turns didn't. Out, yeah, didn't have terror. Is, terror is pretty good. Well, I think I chose to flee with the Grotto Boys, actually. Um, yeah, you did. I think it was a 9 or a 10. So I chose to flee that one. But I didn't really count for the fact that then you could redirect quite easily. And I think if I'd have... Well, it's easy to say in hindsight because the Feral mm. Marauders fled from Terra, um, even on um, their minimized 7 um, non rerollable it was. Yeah. Um it was minimized seven uh, terror check basically. Um 
and they failed it. Um, and, and in hindsight, if I'd have known that that was going to happen, then I would have just taken the charge with the chariots and, and accepted yeah. that. Well, to be honest, I've got a dog goblin demagogue in there. I might have given your phoenix a bit of a go uh, before he killed them. Um, and maybe counter charge. I don't know. But it doesn't matter now because, yeah, I chose yeah. to flee with the chariots. You redirected. And it meant that I lost a feral orc, feral orc marauders as well. So that that mm. flank has changed now significantly. Yeah, very <laughs> much so. And the, the rest of my movement, uh, I kind of um, I, I move up with the on the right side with the griffin and the uh, silver helms, no lancers, um, because <laughs> easy boy, uh, easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so in a position where you can't get out of my line of sight so i i no. we we took a little bit of time uh and i say we because i was like well all right i'm gonna move here what's your move yeah this time you Couldn't were a little bit more careful yeah. Yeah. we were a bit savvy a bit i was sort of like tail between my legs over in that corner going all right let's <laughs> make sure it doesn't happen again and i was just delighted it had been three turns and i'd still mm. managed to avoid exactly. griffin doing anything yeah. significant so. for sure yeah. um with with everything kind of tied up my my two uh Mages, flying mages, kind of just turn to face the, um, well, the uh, ge- your gog gog tucks, um, a little bit, but also yeah. uh, come a bit more central because I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to leave the iron orca charge to get out either. Um, on the left side, uh, my phoenix fell charge, but then allowed my silver helms to go right up, uh, which is very nice. And Grey Watch is kind of just chilled on the hill so they can see over everything. And let's go. And there's that. In the middle. Let's go. Uh, after combat, uh, I don't get any magic off. No. I can't remember from what why. I remember. I think, I think I just had a really bad phase because uh, I can't remember yeah. actually getting any magic off. Um, the... Did you get off um, your hereditary? This turn. Yes, that might be. I think be you it. cast your hereditary, your card just isn't in the shop. Yes, and oh, I'm pretty uh, sure I let that one go and dispelled it. And I've, else. I've actually used it to keep all my sword masters alive. Yes, yes. That's you what's did. happened. Um I lost a few sea guard, but I absolutely decimated that feral unit. Uh, they mm. flee, uh, flee th- uh, this way. They actually flee. You went twelve double, inches. Two, yeah, double six. Yeah. Um but I just uh, before knowing that I just I let them run anyway, thinking yeah. Uh, I need to reform and well, such. You were hoping they would actually just stand in front of my Baron Orc Yes, orders, you? yes. Um, but they had other ideas. They were getting out of there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, so I, I will uh, pivot. Uh, it's like you see the dead pile on the right-hand side. Mm. Um, the, the Ancient Dragon goes in, gets championed uh, away, kills the champion, yes. and nothing else, really. Yeah, I'm just... You, you reform to, to go yeah, that's four right. and three. I did. Or, well, four yeah, and four, yeah. actually. Four, by, you've got four the by two. Yeah, yeah. Demigog as well later on. Um, but yeah, uh, we go in. Uh, I'm. It's your turn next. Uh, so, uh, and I'm out of line of sight, I believe, of the. Um, if we go back. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, so, what happens is you go four by two. Uh, I yep. move so that your big unit at the back are in my front, which means you can't get into me. Yeah, I think there was there was there was like a situation where I couldn't get into you before I reformed. Anyway, sure. it wasn't me yeah. choosing to not be able to get into you. It was like yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Oh yeah, the yeah, way definitely. you went into me. Um, so there was no point in me not going forward because it meant I got extra mm-hmm. attacks if we weren't in duel. So yeah, so yeah. Um, that's what we do. Uh, and then uh, in your turn, you charge the sea guard, and I flee like the yes pansy elf that i am uh, <laughs> with you redirecting into my sword masters and i go absolutely on, I, I figured i i wanted to see this because mm. the veteran orc marauders are with the with the big the boss dude are are my big fighter unit they want to get in they want to charge they want to do it when they've got a magic phase to back them up and i wanted to see what i could do now sword masters are very good we know that. Um, but I was just really intrigued to see how hardy that unit could be because a lot of the Marauders are there to die. They're a delivery yeah. system for the, the, the guy. And admittedly, I haven't got the Apocalypse weapon, obviously, so he's not the guy that everyone's using. 
Um, but he is still a killy guy. And with the potion of swiftness on the charge, I can attack with him first yeah. and kill a whole back rank of sword masters potentially. Which Absolutely. definitely makes the fight winnable. Or at least I, mm. I figured it was. So I didn't I didn't go in thinking this is a suicide charge. I was really intrigued to see how well I could do. Yeah, um, definitely. And, and they get in. making the sea guard flee was a bonus, really. So yeah, and I do get in. Yeah. And speaking of fleeing, <sighs> yeah, this wasn't great. Uh, <laughs> um, the whole blank collapsed, <laughs> it did. which can happen, unfortunately. Because yeah, I um, I failed my so now, with that one. The yeah, to, they're not minimized to rally. Yeah. Oh, no, they are minimized to rally. I think. To be fair, rally, they're, they're not. not um, they're not re-rollable because your unit charged off. Yes, yes. Oh, that's for the chariots. The chariots would have had the big boss pole, yeah, uh, and general's discipline had I not charged that unit into the sword masters. And I only really realised that once I'd got the charge on the sword. So you're in the like, master, yeah. Oh yeah, my my general and my BSB have gone all over there, and the goblin wizard because that's not just a unit of chariots. Yeah. That's an adept. A demagogue and a chariot. Yeah. It's the Quarry Boys. What are they doing? They never Their let me down. Is. But this time, not their, not their finest hour. This and end the, yeah, and the Marauders. And the Marauders just pulled as well. So yeah, that, those lances are just yeah. thinking. Well, this is easy. Yeah. <laughs> just walk it on, well, scary. Yeah, yeah. The other ferals do actually uh, rally there. I think. Yeah, yeah that was maybe an unhappy about that situation. This is yeah, yeah, wasn't a great wasn't a great yeah. situation. You can see my saurians oh. have been shelved. <laughs> Yes, um, you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, in terms of magic, though, I get a good turn on mm. this one. Um, I get both uh, Bring the Pain, uh, which is not called that anymore. What's it been called? I can't remember. The Hereditary. Um, to <laughs> get um, plus one to hit on my Marauder unit. Yeah. So now I'm hitting you on threes, which is pretty big. Um, and also I get Break the Spirit on you, which gives you minus one to hit. So it's a real double whammy in that sense. It was, yeah. Um, making me a lot better and you quite significantly worse because... Elves, when they don't hit on twos, they just get confused. They do. <laughs> they you know, certainly like, What's did. going on? <laughs> they certainly yeah. did. Um, yeah. Over here, one of your... You keep chucking stuff at him? Yeah. 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 Sparklers, you know. And on to the combat. Oof. Oh, wow. This was, this was beautiful, in, yeah. in my eyes at least. Now, I, I'm but, pretty yeah. sure you killed four before I went. Yes. My, and uh, then... I'm not going to lie, I thought I'd do a bit more than seven. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I didn't. There was a reason and for that, though, wasn't spells. there? Um, the spells were all part of it. Was it, was it a five-up armor save I had? That it, well, yes, yeah, um, there, there was. There was. I, I think I saved, like, I don't know, well, at least uh, half. A good, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, more. Yeah, it, was, it, it was a very good, good armor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that, that was awesome. I mean, the spell, the Break the Spirit was a massive contribution yep. to that. And, and the fact that I had any attacks back, like, you know, I say elves get confused when they don't hit on twos, <laughs> but they get even more confused when something attacks them back. Oh, yeah. Um, you they know, die. Like, they get confused and die. Yeah, Swordmaster's definitely like that. They're like, it's, it's still alive? <laughs> 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 Why is it still alive? Why is it swinging at yeah, me? Man. Yeah, yeah. This isn't... <laughs> I trained for five minutes. This is this is the sixth minute now. Yeah, exactly. Um, and what a safe result. to say, yeah, safe to say they absolutely got obliterated. And um, power through. Yeah, yeah. Your your hereditary also gives you movement, doesn't it? It does. The overrun distance is plus two inches. Yeah. Not that I needed a whole lot with Swift Stride as well. And um, those grey but... watchers uh, are in for it. It's safe to say. Uh, yes. Yeah, I mean, you know, my flank collapsed, but maybe your centers collapsed. My centers so, collapsed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, and yeah, even more collapsings. Uh, I do do this a few funny. wounds, uh, do. but so do you. <laughs> yeah, there was no duel going on because you didn't. Yeah. I didn't issue one, so I was happy to, you know, just um, suck it up, really. Yeah, so I couldn't see. And yeah, my my pet monster demagogue just um, where's the pet monster that did it? Wasn't it? It he was. Two it wounds was. Himself. And then the trolls followed up with one more. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I don't think you rolled very well in this combat either, really, because you only killed one troll. Um, but um, this this made you appreciate that maybe you want to be attacking that pet monster a bit. Yeah. So I think your guy attacked first did not much. 
And then my pet monster came back and did two wounds to the yeah. dragon. I was like, oh, okay, the dragon's going to attack the pet monster. Yeah. <laughs> well, the demigod <laughs> on top did nothing. Um, but he's fine. He's just got a pet monster. That's, yeah. That, that monster and I, a name. And too. I did attack him. Oh, the, I remember this, actually. The dragon did attack him and did one wound, but that's because yeah. he got one out of six hits. Yes, it was. It was. Was it? Was that the roll you did? One, yeah. two, 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 something. Five or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. One out of six though. was yeah. crazy, crazy stuff. But yeah, it was hilarious. So onto my turn, and uh, I charge. You get out of line of sight of my silver helms. Yes, I do. Lances. The um, but uh, my griffin, as I said, could see you charges, and uh, you flee. You flee from. The Griffin. Yeah, I fled from the Griffin because I figured it was my best chance of keeping my points there. I had, a, I had, I think I had an extra two inches on you in terms of the distance it was. Yeah. Um, and also, I was happy to go into a fourth turn where the Griffin hadn't done anything if I did actually get away. Mm. Um, so yeah, we'll see where the Iron Orc Chariot ends up. Yeah, and I, I charge your ferals with Frosty. He's doing a good job so far, so you can pick up some more points. Yeah, this time they actually don't fail the terror and we have the fight yes so. and we do and i get in um uh, but i don't get in on the other side and because i was so close to the lancers i kind of just stumble forward with my griffin who uh yeah, yeah. He's, he's having a tough that time chariot, man that 200 tough time. 10 point chariot is uh really giving you the run around i mean he hasn't yeah. technically stopped the lancers from getting to the objective zone no um so there is that but you are having to use a nearly 800 model to guarantee that Lancers get into that deployment zone. So yeah. I'm happy in that respect. It, it is, is currently 2-1 to you on objective. It is. My it veteran Orc Marauders are racing through your centre. They're right there. So. And thankfully my Seaguard uh, rally to uh, at least give a bit of a bit of hope to do something against them. Uh, and my mage comes round uh, over this way to go, I'm going to ice and fire you. Yes. Um, yes. I, I, the eagle... He uh, Whispers. Eagle breath weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Whispers into the Gorg Tux ears. Sweet nothing. He's yeah. going to ice some fire, you mate. <laughs> uh, the right. dragon yeah, the dragon goes around this way, uh, basically so that your guys couldn't charge his, his front, do that silly thing with terrain where I can't mm -hmm. move around and if you touch me and you can't go around, blah, 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 blah. So, For a friendly game, I mean, really. Well, I want him alive. And that's the only way I could see him alive. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, that's that's everything. Uh, and as we confirmed, this is was turn four movement. Of course, yes. So, um, I get perception of strength off on these guys, so that I'm now strength four AP two. Um, oh, yeah. If you do come into me, which is always nice, uh, mm. I, I come in here. I take three wounds. I stuck out some pointy sticks. Yeah. And just said, take it, birdie. Take it, it right in the me. nether regions. Yeah. Three wounds. Um, I, I do do a load of uh, uh, wounds to you, though, and you're away from yeah. your general and fail, and I catch you. So there's yes. even more points for Frosty, but he is, he's bleeding a bit. Ble bleeding. Bleeding ice. Yeah. <laughs> Dripping. Yeah. Um, I, I finally kill that gosh darn demigog. You do. The uh, as, so you put like all your attacks on it. But. Yeah, as well as doing some to a troll and killing another troll off. Um, and then I, I turn uh, to face this way so that when your guys come in, you're into my front. Oh. But I do two wounds more to the dragon. Yeah, <laughs> With yeah. The trolls. Before so, before yeah. going down, you do. Yeah, which I'm like, oh well, he's got eight, so he's got three left. Because the pet monster is actually really quick as well. So he actually attacked, yeah. the pet monster was attacking before the dragon. Um, I know, and I just my guy just wasn't doing it. Uh, no, wasn't killing him. No. Um, you do kill the Grey Watchers and uh, turn to face the Sea Guard, though. So yeah, it's my turn. If, so. Yeah, let's see if uh, perception strength is enough. Enough there. <laughs> uh, my Grey Watchers do uh, actually do a wound to you, though. I did, uh, yeah. and uh, yeah, I, I think I do get the fame miasma off. But obviously, it doesn't work with Navigator's Banner, so it's largely irrelevant at this point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You go in uh, into my front of my Ancient Dragon, which is fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, they had to wait a long time, these veteran orcs, to do that. Yeah. But yeah, they're adding a lot of combat res and a lot of attacks if, if we're not in a duel. But yeah. 
Yeah. And, and over here, something weird happened that hasn't happened for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> you charged the front. It. <laughs> sure, yeah. You, you charged the front of my Sea Guard and I held. Then you charged the rear, and we had a little bit of a th discussion after I thought, well, if I just flee that one, I go through you, and you have this little hug with your gog touch. Yeah. Where'd they go? So they, they, yeah, they come. They were here a minute ago. <laughs> I charged them. No, I charged them. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, so I took a lot of wounds, though. Oh, the whole Through the yeah. DTs. But uh, I didn't think I was going to survive that, to be honest. So no, we'll no. see how that goes. It did make me waste a turn with my veterans as well. Yeah. Because now I'm just facing neophytes and not doing anything the following turn. So I've got yeah. to sort it all out now. Uh, amidst the pile of bones and bodies, the oh, yeah. the, the chariot rallies. It does yeah, it keeps his points still, and now he's mm. even a threat to the fleeing sea guard, which is yeah. pretty important considering my entire centre is facing the wrong way. Yeah, so, very much so. Mm. Yeah, and the the orcs in the middle go into the dragon. Of course, they couldn't really fail that charge. So that was good. And I mean, the dragon's sitting on only two more wounds, so those orcs don't need to do a whole lot of um, effort to actually yeah. kill that dragon <laughs> so yeah which is crazy really um uh and i don't think i've finished i oh, know i have finished moving i charged the yeah, yeah. orders yeah yeah so that's that's about it really because everything else is dead yeah I flank died so i i get a totemic summon on um i you know this was a really weird thing because you let it go and i was thinking to myself oh, is he not is he not really bothered about the lancers you know you know and then next turn, I won't spoil it. I was like, oh, yeah, that's why he doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get there in a minute. Let's just celebrate that I got a totemic summon off. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I. Issue a challenge. A yeah. Did you issue the challenge? I can't remember. Uh, no, you did, I think, because you've got I the did. combat res. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was hoping to make you flee from combat res, actually, um, mm. with the charge, you know, the flank. Um, standard uh, three ranks because I am in seven wide, not eight wide. Um, you know, charge all that lot. Um, and I think I do win combat, um, but um, you hold. Um, I do. And and because of that gamble not paying off, it makes me think, well, in the alternate universe, I could have actually just killed you with enough attack. Yeah. Um, you know, but. I think there was a possibility that you you would have probably targeted my shaman, my master, mm. if I hadn't done that. And that's quite important when you've been rather careless with your other wizard. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was that was the thinking behind it yeah, as well. Enough. But yeah, I end up holding and uh, let's get the other flyers in. Um, Indeed. Have, you turned round, to be fair, uh, to face I my um, initiate. initiate. So he is going in the front. But the uh, oh no, actually, do you actually turn to get ranks? I think. Uh, I think yeah, I think no, I think I've gone bus formation. I'm not rather. Than yeah, I guess, Well, I yeah, wasn't in line anyway, but yeah. So I've gone yeah. five wide towards the dragon and seven wide towards the initiate. But yes. it was easier to just move them like that. It was. <laughs> they are still facing towards the left. Yeah. So yeah, Phoenix goes into the front, dragon into the side. We've already got dragon there. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I, I continue to flee with yeah, Seagard. Yeah, this was funny. I didn't even notice them fleeing. It just happened so smoothly. Yeah, uh, straight towards the rallied chariot. Orc. That's always <laughs> always wonderful. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, this is the 10-5 movement, so getting towards the end. Um, yeah, with the lances at the top left, I just marched as close to the centre as possible. I mean, that's not that much of a master plan, right? But when you move at 18... Some would say it's a summon... <laughs> stroke of genius to just use your movement. <laughs> well, some might. I mean, I wasn't even close enough to cause you a uh, march check. Yeah. So it wasn't like it was... I was just like, yeah, think about it, man. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, well. the, the others just stay in the corner because they're safe. Uh, and the griffin comes round because... You never know. He might do something. This he hasn't whole done anything for five turns. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, I was a bit concerned uh, you had one turn to do something with him, to be honest. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was like, I'll get him myself. into the rear then, fine. <laughs> uh, I get perception of strength to reduce the troll's 
uh, strength in an attempt to keep my again to what I thought they were originally <laughs> in my head. Yeah, yeah, you thought they were strength four, and then I, like, that's they're that's actually doing damage to me. And yeah. what, is, what is happening here? Yeah, they haven't uh, lost the yeah. strength and attacks. Just, just, just the attacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. You do exactly two wounds. In fact, you exactly. do three wounds, and I save one. Yeah, because uh, you're AP two, and I, um, yeah, I, but it's it's enough to wipe me out. My Phoenix and uh, Initiate do do a, a a good job though, uh, and uh, do a quite a considerable amount of you, uh, there. But my Ancient Dragon's gone, and that's twelve hundred points of wonderfulness that you've now got. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a lot of points. Um, he is your general in this one, um, and he's obviously an ancient dragon, so amazing. I mean, yeah, it's like loads and loads of points. And the trolls who he charged, they were probably meant to be killed by the dragon, or at least ground out, and yeah. quite the opposite happened. <laughs> and I mean, really, the orcs haven't actually contributed much to the trolls winning that, really, no. if you think about it. Um, because I've done six wounds with just the trolls. The orcs came in, didn't break you with combat res. So, and then the trolls did the final wounds. So, actually, you could argue that the glory was all the trolls. The orcs actually just came in at the last minute to try and, you know, steal the glory, and they didn't. It is. It was yeah. all on the trolls. And the trolls it's are still very, alive. It's so. very much alive as well. They've still got five out of their original nine, yeah. Uh, eight. <laughs> yeah, and oh, now yeah, they're so. not in combat, so they get a free refor into my next turn, and that is where we, the true genius of the we should say it's in. a free pivot. Before it is a free pivot, YouTube yes. comments tell us yes, yes, because you pivot to go this yes. way, I which is stay in the same formation. Yeah, yeah. As, essentially, you've just turned 180 degrees because you couldn't really Pretty do much, anything yeah. else with the orcs there. Yeah, but as you say, it does allow. To go mm. into my lances. Clearly, the Totemic was just like herding you towards the the, yeah. the actual lines. Um, and yeah, I charged the lances. Why wouldn't I? Uh, Why not? Yeah. Why not? Because <laughs> I am down a strength, which is yeah. a bit of an issue against armor. But yeah, yeah sure. Strength. And Iron Orc Chariots, I was having a great day. You know, <laughs> now he gets he to is. kill stuff too. He is, and yeah, uh, and kill stuff he does almost immediately uh, because yes. you actually catch them. Uh, I roll like three, you don't, <laughs> and, uh, <No. laughs> and yeah, yeah. And, and that's that's it for the sea guard. So they had a little bit of a maneuver, which was like, oh yeah, got yeah. you, and then run. So that is the epitome of getting out of the frying pan and yes. into the fire. If, yes, exactly. if you ever needed a a ninth age metaphor, that was that. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I don't. I, I definitely think that on top of the chariot as well, the crew. <laughs> One of them was like waving at the lancers, like yeah. "You're not chasing me because you want the objective, and I'm free." And the one in front was like, "Oh, yo, yo, we're killing, we're killing some elves here. Yeah, Look, yeah. there's some there." <laughs> there was it was just, definitely, it's yeah. definitely like a case, you know, when you have kids in a playground, go chase me, chase me, and then you chase them. Get, not that I'm in a playground a lot, I should say. <laughs> I mean, not going to comment when you. <laughs> Each <laughs> to their own, mate. You oh, know? Goodness me, I don't think this is uh, salvageable. Well. Anyway, move on, move on. Yeah, right. What's next? <laughs> Remaining <laughs> moves. Oh God, yeah. too far. <laughs> I'm dying. Um, yeah, I um, I abandon my mar my veteran orc marauders to claim the objective because I do need to be two two um, with scoring units in mm. in the deployment zones, uh, and I just moved the uh, grunter boss who definitely needs a name. Come on, boys and girls. Yeah, um, and he's like, well, I've got a turn six as well. Go. Your Griffin might yeah. survive. Exactly. Yeah. Do you want that fight? Uh, we'll see. Um, this is the remaining moves. Yeah, exactly. Which isn't a lot else, either. actually. No, I think it was weird as well, because the trolls actually needed to roll that charge, and they only just got enough. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think I, I assumed it was unfailable. But mm. considering my, my champion troll, uh, which is a new thing to me, had actually died in the dragon fight, it wasn't actually a, a guaranteed charge without Strish yeah. Ride. And in hindsight, like after I was rolling the charge, it only just made it. I thought to myself, that's probably where I should have used the war cry because I really yeah. needed that. <laughs> and <laughs> fortunately, I think I rolled exactly what I needed to get into the lances. Um, but that was that was lucky. I still haven't used the war cry, and it's you know only one turn left. Yeah, turn five. Um, over into uh, combat, you do get some magic off on my initiate. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, break the spirit just to try and calm him down a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but we all know how that goes with big flying monsters onto infantry and infantry that can't really do a lot because they can't really wound yeah. very easily. And um, and you didn't wound me at all. You weren't wounding very no. well in this combat. And actually, it was enough to it's make because it I couldn't a... turn around though. As well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, facing two the flanks. phoenix. Yeah. 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 I'm facing the phoenix, and the phoenix isn't going to give me more attacks by moving inward where the dragon no. was. Um, so I've only got about what four models attacking both <laughs> yeah. flyers. So yeah, it yeah. wasn't that surprising how this was going. It was just going to be a grind until the orc yeah. died, really. And, and, and it was, it did make you test, and unfortunately mm-hmm. for you, yeah, they test were having did not of go it. well. No, no. But on on the you know in the other side of the things, um, the trolls killed one lancer, not many. Yeah. Um, yeah. The lancers obviously did nothing back to the trolls. Who does? Um, <laughs> and um, the lancers got away because they were swift dried, and that was again as we did that. I was like. If I'd have done the war cry, I'd have had Swift Ride, and that Swiss would have potentially yeah. caught the Lancers. And as it is, you now get a turn six to rally your Lancers and keep two scoring units in my deployment zone, which yeah. is massive because I've got two in your deployment zone. So. Although I would say you can just see the, the Griffin poking out, going, Right, I'm ready. Uh, oh, yep. they've all gone. <laughs> Let everybody go. That Phoenix yeah. is uh, taking names, though, in this battle. It is M O M, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um and he he wants to continue on. Why not? Let's mm-hmm. let's let's get, let's go into the rear. Yes, and that was pretty important as well because obviously if it goes into my turn six, I can chance the rallied lancers again. Um, but if the phoenix does a number on the trolls, which yeah, I didn't really know how that was going to go considering no, I've only got two wounds trolls, as well. Um, yeah, um, but yeah, I was interested to see how that was going to go. Yeah, I just uh, needed I, the phoenix to not hold me up, really, but I was doubtful that wouldn't be possible. Yeah, definitely. I I, I move my flyers over this way so that they can't be charged by anything, uh, and they can throw some magic at them. Gosh darn gognuts! <laughs> yeah, who I'm really protecting. Every magic missile you throw at them, I'm yeah. trying to dispel. So, yeah. Um, and thankfully for me, my silver helmets, uh, lances, uh, do um, <laughs> rally. And I, yeah. I turn to face the music. This is, you know, I have to just survive for that last the one, yeah. the Totemic Summon, uh, or lose the objective. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how whether the trolls hold up to the Phoenix or not. So I'm gonna find out. Yeah. Uh, over here, I, I move him to. Basically, there's nothing he can do. You this you put sad. it out is what you're trying to say of charging I, my war boss. I couldn't. No, I can I would have charged him if I could. Let's go back. It was too far. Yeah, yeah I think that. we measured it. Didn't we? It was too far. Way <laughs> too far. If we'd have, if we'd have done a little bit of a let's charge together moment, then maybe that mm. would have been possible. Yeah, come um, yeah coming together. Yeah, because we have had but, that yeah. fight before recently, haven't we? We've, we've yeah. actually fought one out in a recent battle that we didn't didn't record. Um, so yeah. they they are, they are familiar with one another. And I mean, yeah. Otherwise, he just he just moved back, going, "All right, I've had my day." Uh, I I do get ice and fire off. Uh, you you let this one off and stop pyro flow. Yeah, I think this was actually the one where I realised that it would have been better to stop pyro flow uh, because pyro flow had AP naught and I had a six up save, whereas ice and fire, you know, I had to re-roll my successful six, six up saves. Yeah. So I should have done it the other way around. But either way. I did what I needed to do, which was didn't all die and passed the panic test. And you so passed the panic. It was all but good. They were completely irrelevant, scoring. but it's yeah. nice to actually kill some of these guys. <laughs> Absolutely. Change. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah. Speaking of killing stuff, my phoenix oh. continues his rampage of the the battle. Yeah. Apparently, you can charge an ancient dragon into trolls and not win, but charge a phoenix into the rear, and you just run it down. Just run them Superb. down, you know. Super. Yeah, that's the way uh, to do it. Yeah, Discipline it, uh, is their weakness. So didn't didn't take a wound and just oh my goodness, yeah, yeah. just craziness happens. Um, and yeah, I'm. I, we wait the fate of the last turn of the game. Indeed, which is going to be the Totemic coming into. Well, I do a long charge. I yeah. called the Warcry. <laughs> I needed a yes. double six with double switch droid. On the the war cry into the back of the phoenix to try and get some last revenge, don't get it. 
which was, no. you know, the crowd were very unhappy about that. <laughs> Everyone wanted to see the Phoenix go down, but no, we didn't get that. give you that. Sorry, boys and girls. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, so he's, he's, literally, he's literally in the middle of the battlefield going, I know, just, fight everybody, fight <laughs> me. Anyone, fight me. I've killed the whole <laughs> unit of Swordmasters. Now what? Yeah. yeah. Um, so can the do it? If he can yeah. make the Lancers flee, then I win the objective 2 1. If not, and the Lancers hold up, then it's 2 2, a drawn objective. It is. And what happens is you, you one go in, you kill yeah. one, I kill one, which I was very happy yes. with one wound, which means we're 1-1 one, one on wound. Uh, yes, but I You charged. have charge, I have mm. no banner, which means you win by one. I'm yes. Discipline eight. Yeah. Down by one. And what do I roll? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Lucky yeah, yeah, I mean, I think we checked a lot of times to see if the Totemic was... Um, Had fear. fear. Was called fear, but it, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. So much so that I'm even like, should I check it again now? But well, I'm mm. sure we checked at the time. If we got yes. that wrong, having checked at the time, then that would be going. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, it was just what you needed. You know, I think yeah, it was literally the whole battle because we knew it was pretty close points wise. Yeah, it was like, can you on roll this one seven dice. or less? Literally, oh. we could have just wait, saved ourselves three hours. Yeah, just said try and roll a seven or lower to see if we, you know, <laughs> it goes yeah. one way or the other. So yeah. Yeah, Indeed. and um, that ended the battle. Obviously, objective was two battle. two. Yes, it was, and uh, but in terms of the game, just edged it out. And I'm not going to lie, I, I think the Phoenix got about three thousand of those points. <laughs> yeah, I think he probably did. Yeah, because if you give the orcs to him as well, with a little yeah. bit of help from him this year, <laughs> um, yeah. I, I would agree with that. It was a whole unit of chariots. Uh, the Feral Orc Marauders, the Veteran Orc Orcs, um, and the Trolls mm. <laughs> were all killed by the Phoenix, pretty much, directly or indirectly. Yeah. Um, I the think, Dragon I think only really claim the Pet Monster Demagogue out of all that. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I think the yeah the Pet Monster and the the, the, the um, Mad Manglers are the wrecking only teams. two yep. wrecking teams. Sorry, are the only two things that basically he didn't kill. Exactly, right. and that, yeah, 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 that is it. <laughs> Everything else, along. well, the Swordmasters <laughs> killed the Ferals, um, but the Phoenix wiped them up. Yeah, so well, that's it. So technically, the Phoenix killed them off. He I did the lost last any thing. points to the Swordmasters. So yeah, and they did. They lost. They they failed a steadfast check. So you know, it doesn't matter it how many of them were there. <laughs> no, <laughs> funny. Phoenix, but yeah, so OP, OP Phoenix, absolutely. So, but yeah, uh, yeah. the old Masters list works. It was a lot, a lot of fun. Very, very manoeuvrable mm. uh, from yeah. my point of view. And uh, yeah, it's uh, good to try that out and get the ancient on the table. I, I do, we had the succession at the time as well, and we had a good hour journey to Nottingham. I, yeah. I like the ancient dragon, folks, but he just dies all the time. <laughs> and I said to you, I agree, and also I'm not scared of it. Like, mm. I don't think there's been a single battle where you've taken that and I'm be lying, like, I need to be worried about this thing because I just make it bleed. So, <laughs> and once it's bleeding, it eventually goes down. Yeah, it does. So, so my, my question to everyone is, is Ancient Dragon worth it? Yeah. I love him so much, but he just keeps dying. Um, and if not, if I'm not going to have him, what do I replace him with? Yeah, too right. Bring That's back uh, Catclaw. Yes, we maybe. want Catclaw. Maybe a, a character on Catclaw. Maybe, maybe that'd be Cat-claw cool. Character. Um, but yeah, yeah, from your point of view, uh, Orcs and Goblins, we like the list. Really enjoyed, really enjoyed the list. I really enjoyed Orcs and Goblins. There's a lot of things where, like, oh, you've got that as well. Like, Orcs are now like one of the most maneuverable long charge <laughs> armies out yes, there they are. Some, somehow. And that was without me even using the Warcry. Yeah, the threat of the Warcry it was it was more than the actual Warcry itself. You know, because we yeah. were measuring up the charges, whether I used it or not, and yeah, that was just amazing having that in your back pocket. The trolls were amazing. Yeah. You know, I loved having two big bricks of infantry, one that you could just throw forward and do whatever you wanted with. Um, I felt that there was scoring potential there. Um, yeah, and the magic support was there too. It's going to be fun. These orcs, they're mm. going to be fun. And yeah, a lot of people are saying they've got a bit too much of everything, um, but they've had to wait a long time. For this yeah. so 
And having gone through a certain other book where I think the new book hasn't really been massively OP other than the initial <laughs> Wizard Conclave thing, uh, Enclave or whatever it was, that was that was wrong and that got fixed very quickly. But other than mm. that, I don't think they really have ever been OP in my opinion. Uh, and so if, if Orcs are now in a strong position, I'm going to enjoy them. Just and I'm not saying it. I'm going to beat anyone because I have lost this one, let's face it. Um, but I'm going to enjoy them. So, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, it was a, it was a good battle. It was a good way to start the year, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, I think you're obviously sticking with Orcs uh, for a little, little bit. Yeah, uh, I'll have a play with them. Yeah. Uh, and I think I'll... Uh, I like this list. I might I might mix it up a bit uh, in, the, in the future as well, which is cool. Um, but yeah, Tread we'll, out, yeah? we'll see... We will see you next time. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Um, until next time, though, do hit us up on all of the uh, socials. Uh, this is basically just a script for me to say go on Twitter or, or X, uh, yeah, Facebook, yeah. Patreon, and, of course, the forum uh, mm. to uh, hit us up in all those different places. Um, Patreon especially, as I guess, this year. We are looking to do a bit more with them, a bit... Um, with you guys uh, that are on Patreon, because we really appreciate what you do uh, and want to give back a little bit. So we're so yeah. if you're on Patreon and you're, you're like, oh, that's that's me, then look out for a couple <laughs> of messages in the next uh, couple of weeks. Um, and if you're not, get on there and uh, and then we'll be chatting to you and, yeah. and seeing what we can do. Yeah, because it was something we didn't make too much of in the Masters coverage, wasn't it? That you know, because of the support that you guys give us with the YouTube and, and the Patreon, we were able to actually sponsor the Masters this year. You know, like yes. with a bit of monetary to help the players out and to help the venue out as well. Yeah. And that, that's really nice, being able to give back to the Ninth Age. And, and you guys support us, and we support the Ninth Age. So that was that was a really nice little full circle coming, coming to fruition. So yeah, yeah. thank you for everyone yeah. who, who helps towards that. No, definitely. When we had that opportunity, we thought it, it just kind of rolled into one, really. Um, and yeah, yeah. It, yeah we, we got to play with some uh, nice tech as well, which was nice. Yeah, we did. We did indeed, yeah. But yeah, I, I missed the writing on the screen. That was, <laughs> yeah. I might have to... Uh-huh. Yeah, so so do join us on Patreon so I can get well, we the writing wanna, on the we screen. We don't want to tell <laughs> him that we picked it yet because he probably remembers us still from last yeah, week. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, we'll leave it a few weeks and he'll think, well, where's that gone? Yeah. And he'll forget that we were ever in that cupboard. With exactly. Stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, join us. Give us some comments. Give me some orc names. Give me, give Lucky Sixes some thoughts on the Ancient Dragon droppage. And we'll be back for some more battle reports and some other things as well in the next coming weeks. Looking forward yeah. to that. Yeah, definitely. There's lots to look out for on the channel. So, do like, share, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. We will. See you later.